Welcome to part 18 to our Galaxy Defiance Space Shooter series using components in Godot 4. In this video, we're going to be adding sound effects to our game. Now we're going to keep this pretty simple, but uh, adding sound effects can add a lot of polish to the game. So let's open up our ship, our player ship scene here, and we're going to need to add a new node to this. Now Godot already has a node for playing sounds. Um, it's, I guess if you type timer, it shows up. Uh, it's under audio stream player. Although it looks like I have, oh yeah, I made a new component, which is a variable pitch audio stream player, which just automatically varies the pitch on the sound effect that is being played. I think that's actually the one that I'm using. Yeah, so let's select that as a child of our ship here. Now we'll click on our ship and we need to get access to it. So let's drag it into our scene, hold control and drop it. Now we've got our audio stream player here. And there we go. Now that we've got access to it, we're going to need to uh, play this sound whenever we fire a laser. We'll come into here, we'll say audio uh, variable uh, pitch audio stream player dot play with variance and that just plays the sound with um, some pitch variance and I also added an auto play with variance tick here that just um, allows it to automatically play the sound on load, like right when it's created. Um, so now we need to pass in a stream because that's going to be the actual sound effect that is played. And so we'll come into our sounds here and we're going to do laser sound. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, we can run it real quick. And now there's the sound effect. I'm gonna check how it sounds to you guys. Hopefully you can hear it. Uh, it does look like it's showing up in my recording software. Okay, trying to manage the sound of my voice with the sound in the game can sometimes be tricky, but it looks like it's pretty good. So now we're going to, uh, now that we've got that set up, what we need to do is set up one in the explosion as well. So we'll come into our explosion and inside of our explosion effect, this should be where uh, we can manage this. We're gonna add a new uh, variable pitch audio stream player, this, and we'll give it the explosion sound and uh, We'll leave the pitch min at 0.6, the pitch max at 1.2, and then this one will have auto play with variance. That way it will automatically play it. And here we go. You can see that, uh, that with that on, it automatically plays it. Okay, there's for our explosion. We need one more here, which is going to be a hit sound effect when something gets hit and we don't have one on our player but I bet we have one on enemy. yeah we do so I'm gonna do I'm gonna search enemy here to open up this you can do control shift O we're gonna open up the enemy scene and inside of here we're gonna add variable pitch audio stream player just like that we're gonna give it the hit sound. And it looks like I increased the volume on this one to five decibels. Um, yeah, that should work. Now we're gonna come into the script of our enemy. I want to get access to this. I'm gonna drag it in. Get the right type here again. Kind of run out of space here. We go. And we want to connect to hurt. We already have hurt here. So now we just need to do audio 
uh, or let's see, variable pitch dot play with dot play with variance. Here we go. So that's uh, we're already connected to hurt. So now we can just let it take damage when or play that sound when the enemy takes damage. There we go. Now we've got all the sound effects set up. Now it's important to uh, consider separating your sounds from your music. Uh, that way, if you were to put some settings into your game, you could modify the values, the volume levels independently of each other. Some people want to turn down the music or turn down sound effects or turn down both. Now the way to do this inside of Godot is using their audio buses. So here, if we click on the audio tab down here, we have a master bus. Now a bus is kind of like a channel that that audio plays through, right? So we're gonna add two new buses. We'll add a bus here, we'll call this one music. We'll add another bus and we'll call this one sound, sounds. Now you can see that both of these buses inherit from master. See that by default. What that means is if we were to mute master, it would mute both of those. Or if we were to lower the volume level on master, it would automatically lower the volume level on both of these. Okay? But if we were to lower the volume level on music independently, like this, uh, then sounds would still have the same level. If we right click here, we can reset the volume, which is, that's a useful tip, by the way. Um, so now when we come into our variable pitch audio stream player, since these are sound effects, we can set the bus on them here. They're set to master by default, but we want them to set, set to sounds. Come into our ship, set this one to sounds. And I guess I closed out of explosion, so I'm going to open that back up again and come into this one and set it to sounds as well. So now in your code, you could, if you had a settings menu with a volume slider, you could modify the volume level of this bus, any of these buses, in order to change the volume levels. Now you can see if I mute by clicking here, if I mute master, when I run the game, it's not actually going to play any sounds. It's going to be silent because we've muted the master bus. Okay, we'll unmute it now. But uh, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, let's do let's do let's do a music as well. Um cuz I do have the music file here, which was is actually some music that my brother wrote uh that I've used in a few different I've used it in a few different tutorial series actually like this. Um so we're going to we're going to play that music. Now we want the music to play all the time. I guess you could have a, you have to ask yourself, do you want the music to play only in your world or do you want it to play all the time? If you want your music to play all the time, then you're probably going to need a auto loaded singleton um, for playing the music. That way it stays in the tree all the time. Even when you change scenes, it's still there, it's still playing the music. If you don't, if you want it to just play in the world, you could add it here. But I'm going to do a singleton. So we're going to create a new scene. We'll do an other node. And we're just going to do an audio stream player. We don't need a variable pitch for this one. We're going to do uh, our music. That's what we want to play. We're going to play on the music bus like this. And I don't know what the volume is going to be like. Uh, so let me just test real quick. OK, I did a quick test, and it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad for the video. So we'll just play it here. You can see once I have it in the audio stream player, I can click playing and it will play because it's under the music bus. You can see it's being played here in the music bus. But since it inherits from master, it's also played in master. We can watch it playing there. We can hear the music. OK, sounds pretty good. We're going to turn on autoplay so that this plays automatically when the game starts. And we're going to call this music. This is the very, the very uh, minimum amount required for something like this. Uh, let's call it music player, actually. There we go. 
we're not going to go deep into handling music and playing music with a music player in this tutorial series. Let's come into our uh, project settings now. And if we come into auto load, we can auto load this music player and add it. Make sure you do the scene. I guess there isn't a script for this one since we don't need a script. And now when we run the game, we get the music and the sound effects. And our music is going to be persistent between all of the different scenes since we made it an auto load. We die, come to our high score, it's here again. Now again, that might be a little awkward. Maybe you don't want that to happen. Maybe you want the music to only play on the world scene. And you would just remove that music player as an auto load and you would just instance the music player here on world only. Um, that's kind of the quick and dirty way to do music. But for now, I'm going to turn off the... I'm going to turn off the, I'm going to mute the master volume. And that's because when I'm doing, when I'm recording for tutorial videos, I don't like having the music and sound effects on. It's distracting for me. So I'm going to mute those, but I did show you how to set them up, showed you how to use audio buses. Uh, it just covers the basics there to kind of help this game feel more complete. And the next video, we're going to be doing the last thing, which is setting up our saving and loading, a very basic saving and loading, and that will conclude this tutorial series. Hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you want to support my content, check out my Gitto courses. There's a link in the description for that, and I will see you all in the next video.